They just wanted to visit Canada for the day, or so they told the border guard. But the officers became suspicious when some of the answers to the questions just didn't add up. As CHBC Blaine Gaffney reports, a search of the couple's minivan revealed a huge cache of cocaine hidden in electronically controlled secret compartments. Three weeks ago, this Dodge minivan pulled up to the Carson border crossing near Grand Forks from the American side. The couple inside telling customs officers they were planning to do a little shopping in Grand Forks for the day. Officers became suspicious, asking more pointed questions after noticing an unusually large amount of luggage for a one-day visit. Uh, the story changed halfway through based on uh, what the officers uh, located in the, in the uh, back of the van. Uh, showed again inconsistencies and then they questioned them further uh, on uh, why their story was changing and uh, uh, the story continued to fall apart. The van was pulled aside for a search. Officers then discovered a false floor that led to two separate hidden compartments. Each compartment revealed hidden bricks of suspected cocaine. 83 kilograms of cocaine were stashed in the compartments where the van's stowaway seats would normally fold into the floor. When you used a key fob the key fob uh, allowed you to open the latch and pull this right out, uh, revealing an entire compartment in here. Um, and there's actually a button that you'll see, a little red button here on the side, that actually uh, provided LED lighting to light the entire uh, compartment up. The 55-year-old woman driving the van and her 49-year-old husband are from Republic, Washington. They're charged with importing a controlled substance and possession for the purpose of trafficking. Neither Diane nor Scott Powers has anything of what you would describe as an extensive criminal history. However, they were on police radar, and uh, in this instance, this is consistent with uh, the type of activity we believe they may be involved in. Police pegged the value of the cocaine at $3.6 million, saying they're still trying to determine where it came from, where it was supposed to be delivered, and what the connections are to organized crime groups. There was more than double this amount taken out of the minivan 